is going on, Z-Bursters? It's Z-Burst here with Inside the Predictions, and this is featuring the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are going to be going 7-9 and nine and missing the playoffs this year, and here are the reasons why. So, Week 1, the Bills go against the Baltimore Ravens away, and they're going to lose because Joe Flacco is going to realize he needs to win to stay a starter for the Baltimore Ravens. And Josh Allen, who is probably going to be the starter for the Bills, isn't going to be ready week one. Which makes total sense. He is a rookie. It's his, this is his first professional football year. And it's his first game. And he's going to lose to a decent Ravens team. Which leads to week two against the Chargers. In Buffalo, and they're going to recover from that loss, and they're going to win, which makes their record one and one. And they're going to beat the Chargers because they're going to put all their factors together. Where they lost to the Falcons, they're going to realize how to adjust and win. So they're going to have LaShawn well, McCoy probably run the ball more. They're going to let Josh Allen get calm, cool, and collective in the pocket. And let him throw the ball to his wide receivers, his tight end, and not have to make poor judgments this early on. Which will lead them to a victory against the Chargers. Which leads to week three against the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota. I don't need to say much about that. Minnesota is going to win that game because they're strictly better. They have better wide receivers. They have a better quarterback. They have a better defense. The only thing they don't have that's better, that's negotiable, is their running back. LaShawn McCoy is an elite running back, and Latavius Murray on the Vikings is an almost elite running back, and Dalvin Cook, we just don't know, because he's coming off his injury from last year when he was a rookie. So, he's definitely a factor that I can't put in perspective right now, but I'm going to assume Dalvin Cook and Latavius Murray are going to produce more than the Buffalo Bills. And LeSean McCoy. Which leads to week four against the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. So the Bills lose. Green Bay doesn't lose much in Green Bay when Aaron Rodgers is at quarterback. Starting and playing. Yes, the Packers do not have Jordy Nelson. But they have other targets. They have Jimmy Graham. And they have Devontae Adams. They're going to have Ty Montgomery playing wide receiver and probably running back. And they're going to strictly outperform the Bills in Green Bay. And the Bills are going to lose. Which leads to week 5 against the Tennessee Titans back in Buffalo. And they're going to secure a victory. Two home games so far. Two victories. It's not the best record. But at least they're undefeated at home so far. And they're going to beat the Titans because the Titans defense isn't going to stop LaShawn McCoy. You can tell a recurring pattern. If LaShawn McCoy plays well, they have a chance to win. Not guaranteed, but they have a chance to win if LaShawn McCoy plays well. And I think he will play well against the Titans, who, as I stated in my previous video, they're not going to get lucky this year. They got lucky last year. I don't think they're going to get lucky this year. Which leads to week 6 against the Houston Texans in Houston with a healthy Deshaun Watson, healthy J.J. Watt, healthy Jadavion Clowney, and a stellar program going against an average team in the Buffalo Bills. It leads to a loss for the Bills. So far they have yet to win an away game, and I understand that. And that's just how it's going to happen. The Bills aren't going to win much this year in terms of actual going 500. They're going to go under 500, therefore they're not going to win enough to actually be noticed. Which leads to week 7 against the Indianapolis Colts. In Indianapolis. And here's where their first away win occurs. It's against the Colts. I don't know how well... Andrew Luck is going to produce after his injury last year that kept down the entire year. And he's just now starting to throw the football in the OTAs in minicamp. So, 
I don't know if by week seven he's going to be healthy enough, and I don't know if he's going to throw the ball to anyone besides T.Y. Hilton. So if the Bills can just double cover T.Y., looks like a win for the Bills because Shady McCoy is going to, again, run the ball and get screens and get touchdowns, and that solves that issue. Leading to week eight against the New England Patriots in Buffalo. The Patriots were two, or the Bills were two and two at home so far. Playing against the New England Patriots. This is their third home game, and they're going to win it as well. They're going to be three for three so far in home games. And here's why they're going to beat the Patriots in Buffalo. Josh Allen's going to be ready for the Patriots. The Patriots are not going to be ready for Josh Allen. The Patriots are going to be focused on LaShawn McCoy, as I keep saying over and over, that LaShawn McCoy is the reason they're going to win every game that they do. But that's going to lead the Patriots to focus strictly on LaShawn McCoy. And LaShawn McCoy is going to produce. Yes, he will. But Josh Allen's also going to help. He's going to do play action. He's going to do probably some QB reads. He's going to throw great passes, hopefully. And the Bills are going to win. Which leads to week 9 against the Chicago Bears in Buffalo. The recurring factor. The Bills are going to win. The Bears are the bad news bears for a reason. They're not that good. And yeah, they have Jordan Howard. Yeah, they have Tarek Cohen. Mitchell Trubisky is their quarterback. Their defense. Yeah, they have Eddie Jackson. But I think he had a lucky year last year as well. And there's nothing exciting about the Bears. And the Bills are going to win. Leading to week 10 against the Jets in New York or New Jersey. Again, if you're one of those people. And they're going to win their second straight away game. So this is their four game, loot, four game winning streak going on. And they're going to beat the Jets because, as I said about the Bears, the Jets just aren't a good team yet. They're getting there. They're starting to produce. But they're not quite there. They're not good enough to beat a division rival in the Bills in Week 10. Especially in Buffalo. Week 11 is the Buffalo Bills by, so nothing happens there. Week 12, they play against the Jacksonville Jaguars in Buffalo. And this is where they're first home loss occurs it's week 12 against the Jaguars they're gonna lose because the Jaguars are strictly a better team Blake Bortles a stellar quarterback no he is a B plus quarterback for the Jaguars but the Jaguars have multiple weapons that they can go to they have a great running back they have a few good wide receivers and their defense is top five in the NFL but none of those are the reason they're going to beat the Bills it kind of plays in with the defense that's because the Bills love running the ball with LaShawn McCoy Jacksonville's run defense is also top five in the NFL which if Shady does not get over 100 yards there's no chance they're going to win this game and Jacksonville's going to hold LaShawn McCoy to under 100 yards, and Jacksonville's going to win this game. Is it going to be close? Possibly, but I don't think so. I think the Jaguars are just going to run away with it, because it's week 12, close to playoff season. Jaguars are going to secure a nice win. And then week 13 is against the Miami Dolphins in Miami, and the Bills are going to win. I don't think Miami's going to be ready for Josh Allen in week 13. They haven't seen him play hands-on like first person and the Dolphins run defense isn't going to stop LaShawn McCoy those two factors play in they're going to wear and tear down the Dolphins defense and they're going to win the game then they play the Jets in week 14 in New York no excuse me then they play the Jets and home in Buffalo and remember I said about Week 10 how the Jets aren't going to be ready for the Bills in Week 10? They'll be ready for them in Week 
14, they're going to study film. They're going to understand what they did wrong against the Bills. They're going to understand that Josh Allen has a certain game plan. He plays a certain way. They're going to find out how to stop LaShawn McCoy. And the Jets are going to beat the Bills week 14. They're just going to be ready for them. And it's so late in the season at this point, the Jets are going to scratch and claw for as many victories as they can get late in the season. Which leads to week 15 for the Bills against the Detroit Lions in Buffalo. They're going to lose that one too. Back-to-back -back home losses for the Bills here late in the season. And they're going to lose to the Detroit Lions because I don't think the Bills' defense can stop Gordon Tate. I don't think they can stop Marvin Jones. I don't think they can stop Theo Riddick. I don't think they can stop Matthew Stafford. And the Lions defense can stop LaShawn McCoy. The Lions defense can stop Josh Allen. The Lions defense can stop all the wide receivers on the Bills. The Lions are going to secure a win in Buffalo. Week 16 is the rematch for New England. New England is going to be going against the Bills in New England and they're going to avenge their week 8 loss and they're going to beat the Bills. 8 weeks they had to sit and reminisce on how the Patriots lost to the Bills. And they're going to understand that they need to beat the Bills week 16 if they want to secure their 3 seed in the AFC playoffs. And they do so. This is really upsetting for the Bills because they've now lost three straight games after beating the Dolphins Week 13. They lost to the Jets, division rival. They lost to the Lions, other side of their conference. Then they lose to the Patriots, the division rival. And then you have Week 17 against the Miami Dolphins in Buffalo, another division rival. And they're going to lose that one too. They're going to lose the Dolphins because the Dolphins are going to understand what they did wrong against the Bills in Week 13, and they're going to fix it. The Dolphins are going to understand how to play against the Bills to beat them because the Bills aren't going to adjust throughout the year. The Bills are going to play one-dimensional the entire year, and they're going to win seven of the games, but they're going to lose nine. They're going to go one-in-one one with everybody in their division. They're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Patriots, they're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Jets, and they're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Dolphins. And, I don't know if you realize this, all of those first wins for the Bills, the one-on-ones, it was their first matchup with them. They beat the Patriots the first time they played them, then they lost. They beat the Dolphins the first time they played them, then they lost. Then they played the Jets the first time, and they won. The second time, they lost. The reason they lose is because the Bills play one-dimensional. They don't understand how to change their scheme and change their game plan to adjust for a team they've already played. That's why they're going to lose three games that they shouldn't lose. Except for the Patriots. They probably should lose both of those because the Patriots are a very good team. But they shouldn't lose to the Dolphins twice and they shouldn't lose to the Jets twice. But they are going to. The Bills are going to choke away their playoff opportunity at one point they won four games in a row then they go on their bye week week 11 and they lose five of their last six this is why the bills are not making the playoffs they are not going to be ready late game they're going to lose week 12 win week 13 because it's the dolphins the first time then they're going to lose weeks 14 through 17 and out of 14 through 17, three of those four are home games they're going to lose. And they're going to lose because they don't know how to adjust. It's a sad year for Buffalo this year because they made the playoffs last year and they're just not going to make it this year. So I'm sorry, Buffalo fans. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Stay in school, stay active. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends, your family, strangers, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week.